Okay, we're getting close to boil. And uh, I like the I like the color of this. Pretty light. Hello, happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. This is my Oktoberfest beer. Still in the keg. It's uh, it's very nice. Dried out nice and uh, you can see very clear. Um, but it lagered for um, almost all summer long so should be clear. It's crisp. No hint of sulfur taste. It's very nice. I want to thank everybody for their comments on my last video. Many of them, uh, well, all of them cheered me up. There, there were some pretty funny ones there, some good puns. Um, I have to laugh at myself. Uh, breaking the carboy was, uh, was not fun, and the cleanup was worse. But uh, I knew you guys would understand, and I appreciate that. And I did get back to brewing, and I brewed on Friday. Last Friday, I brewed a, uh, a Pilsner, a Bohemian Pilsner out of Brewing Classic Styles. And that's fermenting now at around 50 degrees and uh, bubbling away nicely, slowly. And it'll probably be in the primary fermenter for uh, probably four weeks. And I'm not going to be able to get to it probably before that. It's a busy time for me. I've got a lot going on. So I don't know if this is going to be my last video for a while. But Also, I had some trouble. I thought I had everything worked out on the brew stand. But uh, I have some... Uh, some problem one of my my thermal couplers burned out or or what but I have some uh, I have some issues with the brew stand I'm really getting frustrated with uh, my current setup and I'm considering abandoning the gas and going with a complete electric system I don't know if I can handle it but I've been seeing well many of you guys have them uh, Tony uh, has a great one, uh, Tyler, uh, the Bearded Brewer, I, I somehow I missed his video, but the Bearded Brewer has uh, done his electric system and it's up and running, it looks good. And uh, I know that there are others that have done it, and uh, so I'm not slighting anyone. Um, I've seen all, the, pretty much everybody's videos that are regular contributors to the Homebrew Wednesday. So I'm going to be looking at that and seeing what I should do about my my brew stand I have quite a bit invested in the in the stand itself so maybe there's a, maybe there's a market for someone that wants to do a gas because I really don't need this heavy uh, brew stand if uh, if I go a different route so I might try to maybe try to sell it on my uh, my local uh, Arizona Society of Home Brewers home uh, site and see if there's anybody that be would be interested in the uh, in the brew stand. I think a lot of guys want to build their own, and the thought of dropping the kind of money that I would expect for it uh, might not be uh, feasible. So I don't know. Hopefully, I can get it working properly in its current state because I do like the idea of being able to pack everything up and going to a brew out if uh, and throw it in the back of the truck but uh, electric seems to be uh, a lot cleaner and neater looking forward to seeing what Blickman is doing they have uh, created their own uh, electric brewing system that it's going to be available I think I think it's going to be available in March or April so I'm looking forward I saw a preview of it one of the uh, one of the YouTube contributors has uh, did a video at the, I guess it was at the uh, American Home Brewers Conference, and Blickman was there, and he did a nice video. I uh, can't remember the guy's name, but he he does regular beer reviews, and he had a nice uh, interview with the Blickman people and showed their setup. And 
I might go that route to make it um, maybe a little more plug and play. Uh, I really struggled with the uh, the electrical part of my design uh, was uh, it was really a nightmare. So I don't know if I'm up to uh, to building the whole um, electric brew system like uh, you guys have done. It might be beyond me uh, patience and uh, and also capability. <laughs> So anyway, that's the update from here. I will uh, I'll keep you posted. I think next time I I get to do a brew homebrew Wednesday, I might compare uh, my pumpkin ale to my pumpkin saison. Do kind of a side by side for that, and uh, see how you know that comparison looks. So uh, look forward to that video. Hopefully it'll be uh, sooner than later. I hope everyone has a happy homebrew Wednesday, and cheers.